I'm Jason Dackman with SVG. We are back at the NAB show in Las Vegas after a few years. We're so happy to be together. I'm with Steve Subelt, a very good friend of SVG and one of the head guys at Grass Valley. Steve, thanks so much for taking our time. I'm happy to be here, but I feel like I should be using my announcer voice the way you went off like that. It's, well, it's, it is, it is a very exciting to be back in person again to an event like this. Really, really. And you can see a great turnout at this event as well. I mean, I can barely contain myself. I'm doing the announcer voice literally because I'm just so excited. So, uh, Grass, always a heavy hitter when it comes to NAB. We're excited to be back at the Las Vegas Convention Center. But a lot's happened over the last few years, especially uh, AMP and the, uh, the Grass Valley Media Universe. It Tell is. us a little bit about Th it. Think about it this way. This is now two years where we were still in it right till the end. The last NAB, the, where we're going to be here in 2020, when we're going to be here in 21. And we had big announcements that we wanted to talk about at that point really probably around cloud platforms and our AMP platform, our, our GV Media Universe. Well, if you fast forward two years from when we were initially rolling out those products, oh my God, the products have advanced so much. Now we're not introducing a new product to people. We're introducing a product that people have been using for things like, it was just being used by CBS Sports with the Masters. It's being used in lots and lots of different uh, packages uh, literally around the world. Eurosport used it with uh, some of the work they did for the Olympics. So. We're super excited about it. It'll take, it'll be a lot of what we show on the show floor, but let's not confuse people. We're still making cameras, we're still making switchers, we're still making routers. This is just what we can connect to those products that we've been making for now 63 years, I think, something like that. Sure, they're not mutually exclusive, right? Uh, this cloud-based ecosystem and physical gear can coexist, but over the last few years, Look, it's like you guys saw a little bit of a crystal ball, right? I think everybody did, but then the pandemic accelerated those trends. So how has everything that's happened in the last couple of years in terms of remote production, cloud-based connectivity, and the ability to work from anywhere made AMP more of a, a viable product than, than it probably would have been, to be honest, three years ago? Well, it's accelerated everything, let's be honest. Uh, and as they say, uh, the uh, uh, Invention is the, is the mother of the necessity of whatever it was. Here's what happened. Necessity Every, is the mother of invention. Everybody needed to all of a sudden be remote. So all of the things that anybody would talked about, planned, thought, well, could we ever do that? It was like, look, we don't have options. We can't get into our buildings. We need to find ways to be able to do productions, keep them on the air, do remote productions in a different way. So it really accelerated the adoption of so many things. And then once people tried it, it was like, oh, okay, let's, now we really feel like we've learned an awful lot. So real world experience being thrown into the deep end of the pool. Um, a lot of people kind of came out of it with new and innovative ways that they could do things and how to help get through what we've been through for the last couple of years. Producers who had to stay home, but we could still send multi-viewer feeds to them. We could still do things that were just so important to actually keep operating along those lines. So very exciting. Uh, very exciting to be able to showcase these kinds of products that are real world to many people that have, in some cases, never seen them, right? Sure. So they'll see for the first time and go, wait, you're doing what? You're doing it now? You mean that really works? That's not like smoke and mirrors. It's like, no, look, it's out there in the field. It's really working. Here are the people are using it every day. And so we've had some great partners. On mobile Video actually really got into AMP uh, during this period of time for the summer. They did uh, Dome up in, up in Canada, another truck company. And so many of our truck companies are, are really trying to figure out the next generation of what they will be. And so they are really deciding, well, we're really production services companies. So it really opens up a whole possibility for them to do their traditional business and expand what they've been providing to their customers. So we'll talk a lot about it. Obviously, I'm excited about it so much I can't even actually think of <laughs> think of phrases that go with it. But Grass Valley is also this platform isn't just Grass Valley. It's opened up to a, really the industry. So we have a lot of alliance partners that are part of it, right? And we expect this to be the platform that really the whole marketplace uses to go forward yeah. to bring these things to market. So. Very excited. Well, this is the next generation of live production. Uh, we've seen what's happened over the last few years, and I'm excited to get a hands-on uh, for the first time after writing about it for about three years, but I actually get to see it now. You'll, so You'll sit down and you go, oh my God, this is, wow, you could do that? Yeah, watch, look, click, 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 This we just set this up. Actually, one of the things we are doing is packages that are pre-built for customers to go, well, what do you need? Uh, here's a three-camera virtual studio, here's a six-camera, here's an eight-camera. Click it, set it up. Within two minutes, you have an entire build out of router, multi-viewers, switcher, all of the things that you need, the I.O. to go with it, 
and you didn't have to build it from scratch. Right. So we talk about it as Lego blocks. This is like the whole kit already built for you. So it's, it's very exciting. I think it's going to revolutionize the way we do things. It's going to be like going to an ice cream store and you get to pick your toppings. Sass is here. It's very exciting. You can add some more things to it. Exactly. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Steve, thanks so much for taking the time. Always really, really. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Jason Dackman from Las Vegas at the NAB show. Stay tuned to sportsvideo.org and our NAB, at, our, our SVG at Sports Tech blog for more news from the floor. Thank you.